Hello guys, what's up? My name is Alex. Welcome to another video. Uh, today, I'm going to show you real quick how you can stream using OBS. It's really simple. I really needed to know. And now that I know, I'm just going to tell you how because it is really quick to learn, really simple. You're just going to need, obviously, a PC. If you have two monitors or more, it's going to be much easier. But if you don't, don't worry. Even with just a laptop, you can... Um, you can do it. It's very, very simple. So I'm going to be using an Xbox One. And right now I'm going to show you how to stream uh, from your PC using OBS. Uh, so you can have more control of everything uh, surrounding it. So you can have overlays, uh, use a different microphone. You can stream out of the OBS uh, page. Just click stream now. And it's really, really simple. So I'm going to show you how right now. So we're going to jump into OBS. All right. So we're just going to pop into uh, the PC. We're going to have, I have a laptop. So if you have a laptop, that's good. As long as it runs, you're good to go. Uh, so we're going to start recording so you can see what I'm seeing right now. <clears throat> so basically, hello. Basically, this is what you are going to need. You're going to need, obviously, OBS. If you don't have it already, you're just going to go to Google, click OBS, and this link, that's what you're going to click. And that's what you're going to click, and you're going to have this page. Now, obviously, if you have Windows, Linux, whatever you have, just click on it. I'm not going to click on it because that's going to start uh, downloading it, and I already have it. But, but once you click this button, it's going to start downloading. After it's download, you're going to just open it up and you can have this page, which is the one that I'm recording right now. It's really creepy. It's really weird to see it. It's like Inception um, and I'm right there. Hi. Um, but this is what you will see. It looks if you don't have any idea of how this works, it looks scary. It looks like really like pro and, and, and everything, but it's not that hard. So what you're going to do before starting to use obs you're gonna go to the store and just look for xbox companion this way you're going to see your xbox as long as we have xbox console companion installed so now i'm gonna really quick open it up all right so now that it opened up we have it right here you can see it on the screen uh, we're going to click on the devices, which is this little button right here that looks like an Xbox. So you're going to go to connection. And you're going to basically connect your Xbox. So you have to make sure you guys uh, have the PC and the Xbox connected to the same Wi-Fi. That's how they're going to connect. So you're going to click connect. That's my Xbox one. And now it is connected. It's really simple. We've done that. Now we're going to go back to OBS. All right. So we woo, we have it right here. And we are going to set up our sources. So I already have them, of course. But I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to click everything here so you can see it. All right. So first, the first that I add is my mic. My mic is connected. Right. You can add. Uh, so this is what you what you do. You're going to click the plus and you're going to have all of this. Now we have audio input capture, audio output capture, color source, display capture, which is the one that we're going to use. Game capture. This you would use if you have the game in your PC. Right. If you have stream, if you have any like the, the games you have on your PC, that's where you go. Uh, then you have image, image slideshow, media source, if you're going to input a video, uh, a scene, text, video capture device, which is my laptop webcam. What are you, what you're seeing right here, that uh, where it's my, my little like box, that's my webcam from the laptop and window capture, which it's like using Zoom or Meet. Uh, when you're like presenting your screen, that's basically it. So you can just choose uh, a window. You can choose an app 
or just YouTube. When I have like five windows on Chrome, I want to just choose one. I want to show a YouTube video, so I would just choose YouTube. This is basically the same thing. And that's about it. So I have my mic, I have my display capture, uh, uh, my display capture image, which is this one right here, which is Google, uh, OBS, and everything, because I selected my second monitor. So everything that I put in my second monitor, it's going to show up. So right now, if I move OBS to my first monitor, you're gonna stop seeing it. And I have Google Chrome and Xbox Companion. So I'm gonna bring it back and I can move this however I want it. I can make it small. I can do whatever I want. It's really, really simple. Once you like look at it, you don't really have to understand anything. It's pretty basic. If you have, you don't have any experience with OBS whatsoever, it is really, really just simple. So now we're going to go to the laptop camera, which is that uh, little corner right here. Now, it is a group. If I click this one, I'm going to move everything together. So the overlay that I have, that little blue box and the subscribe, that is a group. How do you do a group? You're basically just going to right click uh, whatever you're going to group and you're going to add so when you add it to a group, you can, it's like PowerPoint or Word. You're going to click various things and they're going to group together. So once you move one thing, everything is going to move. So as you see, if I just click the laptop camera, I'm just going to move this box, right? But if I go to the group, which is look right here, I'm going to click this arrow and everything's going to pop up. See, so now the text, which is the subscribe, the image, which is the overlay and my laptop camera, if I click group, everything is going to move. So I can put it wherever, wherever I want, wherever you want your camera to be. If you want it to be bigger, if you want it to be smaller, this is where to go. And that's basically it. We have the image, which is the overlay that I'm going to show you how to do in another video. If you're interested, uh, you can click right here somewhere here to see it and the text so you say subscribe you can put your name you can put your brand whatever it is that you uh want now i'm going to lock everything up and now the display capture all right we're going to go back to that the display capture which is what you're seeing right now that i selected to be my second monitor we're going to go back to the xbox companion now so i'm going to move obs to the side and we have Xbox Companion. So now I have my Xbox controller right here. Hi. Uh, and we're just going to click stream. Now, it's not going to stream to Twitch. All right. It's going to stream to my PC. Now, I'm going to take back OBS. And we're going to... Right now, I'm recording, obviously, because I'm showing you this. But you can just go start streaming up here. And you can see right now, that's my channel on Twitch. And it's going to be a little laggy because I'm doing a lot of things at once. Um, but you can just uh, make sure it's not laggy by having a good internet connection, not having uh, multiple windows open. But right now, it's a lag and I'm going to hear myself. So I'm just going to mute me. And you can see my, my hand right now, my little box. It's charging, obviously, but it's a little laggy, as I said. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to just bring... Uh, twitch right back I'm gonna make it small so you can see both right here so I have OBS which is where I'm streaming from remember uh, and twitch here so I, as I as you see uh, I am not logged in I'm not uh, logging in I just went to twitch Google my um, my twitch right here so that, that's it again it looks really like weird um, but I am using two two monitors so you can just bring OBS to the side or whatever so right now we are streaming what we are streaming right but now I'm gonna keep uh, the streaming up I'm gonna remove OBS I'm gonna put it on the side and we're going to go again to Xbox companion right? gonna close this we're gonna open xbox companion and we're 
Now, remember, we're going to stream to the PC. The PC is already streaming to Twitch. So you can do this before or after. I'm just showing you, right? So we're going to click stream and we're going to see our Xbox on this screen. That's basically it. And it's not that laggy. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, if you found it useful, please leave a comment below if you would like to leave a like as well. And if you want to subscribe for more this type of content. And so yeah, that, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you get to the end, thank you. And have a good day or night or evening. And I'll see you in the next video.